folks in the house coming to you on a, a Monday evening, well, late in the evening. So I'm going to take a break from uh, horror flicks and go on to some action movies and uh, time travel. Um, three of the movies are dealing with kind of like payback. Um, and then one movie is uh, science fiction. So I get a little break from the horror uh, movies I've been doing lately. Nothing extra anyway that, you know, uh, the Hansel and Gretel things. I, I couldn't believe how many Hansel and Gretel movies were out there. Just like, I was like, yeah, we got to go check this out. And uh, again, the, um, the horror flick one, people, I think, just got mad because they were looking for... Um, uh, Jeremy Remier is a uh, Hansel and Gretel movie, uh, Witch Hunter. Uh, the horror flick one, um, I thought it was all right for a horror flick. So um, just seeing that back then people kind of three movies in 2013 were Hansel and Gretel. And uh, again, people would get the wrong one. So they weren't pleased, it seemed like. Um, so if you're looking for, like I say, uh, the Hansel and Gretel things, uh, that's that. Uh, I said I wasn't going to do horror flicks in here. I'm talking about horror flicks. Uh, well, let's see. Um, wrapped up uh, garden-wise uh, before I get into uh, talking movies. Um, just uh, cleaning up. Cutting, uh, you know, the perennials down. Uh, gladiolas went in the basement. Um, got a, had to fill in dirt in the garden to bring that level up. And so tomorrow I'll probably uh, plant my garlic uh, for next year. Uh, again, if you're uh, somebody that's looking to plant garlic, um, garlic bulbs from the store are not going to work because those have been processed and uh, so you, you need fresh garlic if you're gonna use the cloves to grow your own uh, bulbs um, so that's something I'm looking forward to because uh, it's three years now that I've done it and uh, doing okay with it um, kind of wish the bulbs were a little bigger and maybe with the dirt and sand that I put into the garden uh, that's maybe gonna help out a bit and uh, so um, weather-wise today, just a rainy kind of day, windy, pretty crazy. Um, I'm thinking this is the week for us that our leaves are going to be coming down pretty much. Um, colors change just in a, a couple days. So if you get a chance and you're in areas where leaves are changing color, take advantage of it before it's gone. Um, so on to the movies. Uh, I think I'm going to start with the science fiction one, uh, time travel called Collider. Uh, it was 2018, 3.6. Um, it deserves the 3.6 kind of. Um, a girl's in an orphanage and she wants to go back and try to figure out why she ended up in an orphanage orphanage and see if she can correct things um there's a lot of jumping back and forth um and then even jumping back to another time of jumping back so it kind of gets a little crazy a little messy um storyline i thought it had a chance and kind of comes out of it it's like why do we go through this to begin with kind of scenario um, so again, it got a 3.6. Christine Mascola uh, is in this. This was one of her last movies, movie before My Amish World is something she was in. Um, Jude Moran also was in this, and he was in Stadium Anthems. Uh, he recently did. And now we're going to go to uh, movies that deal with, I guess, payback. Um, first one I'm going with a popular movie, um, Man on a Ledge, 2012, got a 6.6. 6. Uh, Sam Worthington uh, is in this, uh, just did something fractured. 
and Elizabeth Banks. Uh, she recently did a movie called Bright Burn. Uh, so a couple uh, movies those two actors actors did. Um, Man on a Ledge holds its own. It has a good story. Um, I, re I, I think it's good. The 6.6. .6, I guess if you want to give it a 6.6, .6, that's fine. Um, anything lower, I wouldn't do it. I think there's a good plot, good storyline. Um, to hold your own uh, to keep you interested. Next two movies are going to be uh, payback movies, and they're done uh, London, England, uh, English movies. Um, I'm going to go with the first one that got a higher rating, and uh, Dead Man's Shoes, uh, 2004, 7.6. Uh, Army veteran from the British Army uh, comes back um, to seek uh, uh, revenge on what happened to his brother. Um, this movie's dark. Um, I'll give it that. I could almost give it a little horror to it because there is some gore. Um, again, Dead Man's Shoes, done in 2004. It got a 7.6. And... Uh, it's got a storyline. It is a, you can see, it's kind of got an obscure uh, screen, uh, filming wise. Um, dark wise, yeah, I, I totally recommend it. If you're, you're one that doesn't like dark movies, and maybe want to stay away from it a little bit. Um, there is, if I will say, payback, uh, what they say about payback. Uh, it, it's in this movie. Um, and then uh, something with this movie and the one I'm going to... Uh, consciousness comes into it. Um, this one at the end of the movie. But uh, then, uh, it's kind of interesting to see that play out. Uh, Patty... Consigned uh, is in this. And he recently did uh, How to Build a Girl. Uh, is something he recently did. And then Gary Stretch um, Hexageddon uh, is something he recently did. Um, and my last movie, um, I just watched this tonight. And I, I don't know what it was. It was like, yeah, let's give it a shot. And ended up being Outlaw. Uh, 2007, it got a 5.7. Um, I think it deserves a 6. I think it's watchable. Um, what I kind of liked about it compared to like your Death Wish, Brave One, it shows the guys that are uh, looking for revenge, they're not perfect and they have consciences. A uh, little, uh, I think uh, they push that in this film. Um, so it makes it interesting, I thought. Almost had it where it made the movie feel like it wasn't a perfect movie, which kind of nice. Uh, I, I kind of liked the way they played it out. I did like it the way they played it out. Uh, Sean Bean's in this. Um, Possessor is uh, something uh, he recently did. And Lenny James uh, from The Walking Dead. Uh, far, uh, Fear of the Walking Dead recently, but uh, he's been in The Walking Dead. Uh, Bob Hoskins. Uh, also was in this movie, and um, he passed away in 2014 at the age of 71. And one of his last movies was uh, Snow White and uh, Huntsman. Uh, so that's uh, it for all the movies. I hope everybody enjoys their week, and uh, have a good one, everybody.